Hi, it's Ken Golden, the founder of Golden Auctions. I'm lucky enough today to talk to you about the holy grail of sports cards, the famous 1909 T206 Honus Wagner. This card from the time I was a little boy to well before I was born was always considered the number one card in the sports card industry. It was issued as part of the first really major baseball card set ever issued between 1909 and 1911. The uh, set featured superstars at the time like Christy Matheson, Cy Young, Ty Cobb, Tris Speaker, and of course Honus Wagner. It became the most popular set, most popular pre-war set, and still one of the most collected and desired sets of all time. The problem is, Honus Wagner card was pulled from the production. There's a lot of stories about why. Some people say it was a financial dispute. Uh, the story that most people gravitate towards is that Honus did not want to be promoting tobacco cards to children and make them buy a tobacco product to get his card because you see on the back of the card were advertisements for tobacco companies. This particular one was uh, Sweet Capital. Of course, they were actually inserted into packs of either cigarettes or tobacco. So his card was pulled from production. So what you have is the first major set ever produced in history. 524 subjects, four Ty Cobbs, two Walter Johnsons, Christy Mathewson, Cy Young, Tris Speaker, uh, Nat Blasway, all the all-time greats, Eddie Collins, um, Eddie Seacoat, uh, the old Black Sox pitcher, you know, his rookie card is in there. And to get the set, you could never complete it without Honus Wagner. So you take the most popular set of all time, with the most popular players, and you take one of the best players of all time, one of the first five members of the Hall of Fame. A lot of people forget that. The first five inductees of the Hall of Fame, Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Christy Matthewson, Walter Johnson, and of course, Mr. Wagner. Those are the first five people inducted in 1936. So nobody can get his card. So they say something about this card. No one has ever lost money on a T206 on his Wagner. I don't know if that's true about any stock, any hard asset, any other type of collectible. But if you go in history and you look at every individual card that was purchased and then resold, there has never been an occasion where somebody bought a Honus Wagner and when they went to sell it, they lost money. It's probably unique in the world of uh, hard assets. You then look at it and you say, okay, what is the condition? This condition is a PSA 2. You can say, okay, this looks you know, not the best shape in the world. It's very eye appealing, but you can see the corners aren't perfect. You can see there's wrinkles in the card. Well, this is what you have to understand. There are probably less than 50 of these that are known in the world. PSA has graded and authenticated 36 of them. Out of those 36, only seven cards have ever been graded higher. That's it. Out of the 36 that have come to PSA, only seven cards have ever rated higher than this one. It recently, a card graded authentic, which means it's in such bad condition, it cannot even merit a grade or the card's been altered. This particular card had been stamped to a uh, scrapbook and glued in. So the back was almost completely missing. Sold for 2.5 million. That was about two months ago. That is why I feel this card, the Holy Grail, in this condition, could set the all-time record for trading cards at $5.3 million or above. The current record is 5.2. I've got a unique history with Honus Wagner. I personally, in my career, have been blessed enough to have either owned or sold seven of them. Famously, the Jumbo Wagner, twice, uh, the Nuns Wagner, that is currently up at uh, Rally in fractionalized shares was uh, sold by me. Uh, this card, the uh, PSA 1 that Golden Auction sold in uh, 2020, and previously a PSA 1. What people don't know is that there is an uncut strip of five T206 cards with Honus Wagner. It's known as the proof strip. It has Wagner, Cy Young, and I should know this, because I owned it, but it's got three other individuals on it, and it's got a blank back. 
it is supposedly sent to Wagner by the company as proof that they stopped production of the card and they sent him that strip and it originated from Wagner. The card was originally sold, the strip was originally sold at uh, Sotheby's in 1999. It was sold later in 2000 where I purchased it and uh, I, I kept it and I treasured it for nine years. And unfortunately, I didn't know I was gonna open up Golden Auctions or I would have saved it, but the opportunity arose and I sold it for probably about $2 million less than it would go for today. So that's uh, the big fish that got away from me. But I've seen everything in this business. I've held bats used by Babe Ruth. I've held jerseys worn by Mickey Mantle. I've held 52 tops Mickey Mantle PSA 10s. I've held $5 million LeBron James cards. When you hold a Honus Wagner and you look at that beautiful card and you realize the history of the card, you realize what it means to so many people that it is the flagship of sports card collecting, you just get a different feeling.